My sincerest apologies, friends, for my little two or three week hiatus. I'm not really sure how long I was gone. I still love you. Hope you still love me. A lot's been going on. I was in New York for a weekend. There was a hurricane. And on top of that, there's just been a lot of silence and stillness. And I've just been really reveling in it all. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's a little bit of a montage of these last few weeks, the New York trip, the hurricane. I was still filming, I just wasn't uploading. This week is gonna be a lot about surrendering and just kind of accepting what is. That's just it. Surrendering and accepting what is. So if you're somebody who is an anxious overthinker, who thrives in but also struggles with transition, this is for you. I've been doing a lot of practicing, preparing for the best. So let's see what happens. Welcome back! Today's Tuesday. I spent the weekend in New York. I was visiting my best friend, her new apartment. We moved there together in 2020 when we were like freshly 18 years old and I just moved, but she's still living there in her new, newest era. So it was only right to go and christen the place. We've been through a lot of chapters in New York together, so this was definitely an exciting one. It was really weird to be back. It kind of just felt like I never left and I was like kind of I was curious to see how I was gonna feel about it um, because I knew that it was like over and done when I left and I it just felt very the chapter just felt closed or closing but there was also this anxiety that I was maybe making the wrong decision or the wrong choice because I loved living in New York and it just changed my life in so many ways. Showing back up, it felt like I'd never left, but it also, it still felt the same sense of stagnancy almost. Like I just felt like there was nothing new under the sun there, which is maybe not as, it doesn't sound as positive as it felt. Like I felt like I had made the right decision to like follow my gut and know that even though it had been such a great chapter that it was time to kind of pivot a little bit. We did our little thing and then now I'm back home. Um, unfortunately, there is a hurricane headed for us tomorrow on Wednesday, Wednesday night. So we have a lot of prepping to do. A little nervy. It's my first hurricane. Um, not sure what to expect. I don't know. It's uh, a little overwhelming. Yesterday I was so anxious because I just felt like I don't know exactly what to do. We're gonna be safe, we're gonna be fine. I'm very blessed to have the resources and the space and everything that I need to be able to keep myself safe. That's definitely a blessing. Yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> has been like a week since the hurricane so obviously we survived everything was fine it was very scary because like i said it was my first hurricane and i didn't know what to expect we were just kind of like okay so we got a hotel because our apartment is very like flood prone or so it seemed and we got these like giant sandbags and these tarps and we put them up all over the windows which i think probably helped a lot i don't know we weren't here to see like how bad it flooded because we were gone overnight while it was happening um but it really like the way they were projecting it was a lot crazier and i must like not super near the coast or anything so i didn't have to worry about like any kind of crazy flooding or anything but we're safe we're fine overall i would give my first hurricane on a scale of one to ten i would give it a five it was moderately stressful 
Um, is it a five? Maybe like a four. It was moderately stressful, but nothing really came of it. Um, so yeah, we move on to the next one, I guess. But now I feel more prepared if any more storms come. I feel like I will have a better gauge of like what is serious and what's gonna be okay. Cause they were saying this was gonna be so serious. Anyways, now there's a cold front moving through and a cold front means it's like 67 degrees which is the first little inkling of fall weather that we've had at all. I'm gonna, I'm debating if I should make a little drinky and drink it here or if I should make a little drinky and take it with me to the park because I'm gonna go outside today regardless. And it's not sunny, it's like a perfect like overcast. So I have on a sweatshirt, I have on jeans. It's gonna be a good day. There's like a little podcast I wanna listen to about childhood trauma. Ooh, fun. I'm gonna bring my journal, obviously, and journal probably either maybe before the podcast or during or after, maybe all three. I've been feeling like I'm settling more into this little post-grad era. Um, there are some days where I still feel like largely panicked and confused. But I was writing about this yesterday. It's just like overall, I just feel a sense of like calm confidence in whatever is going to happen next for me. I'm like just letting myself sink into the fact that the only one making me freak out is me. And that's not even the way that I feel about it. I feel relatively reassured in the fact that whatever is going to happen, whatever needs to happen is going to happen when it needs to happen. That's how I feel about it. And I think I like, for whatever reason, don't want to let myself feel that way because that's like authentically how I feel about it. I think I make a lot of like stress that doesn't need to be there. So I really want to recommit to my like meditation and start doing stuff like that again because it makes such a huge difference in calming the mind. So let's go enjoy the day. Let's go enjoy this true fall day before it goes right back to like 90 degrees and i need to decide what to do about my drink i think i'm gonna make it here yeah you look at that we're right back where we started surprise oh my god there's like a freaking adorable little ladybug oh my gosh i have to i love ladybugs do you see oh <gasps> it flew away guys that's such a ladybugs are like usually a little sign for me i love when i see a ladybug i can't believe i just saw that oh Anyways, what a good note to start off on. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting to film this part sitting on the bench talking outside for like about a week now, but every time that I've went out to do it, it's been so windy to the point where I can't even use like my phone microphone. And I just really wanted to film it outside for some reason, so I'm just, here I am. I've waited until the right moment. I've just been thinking so much about surrender and I feel like everything that has happened the last few weeks has been like very indicative of that my trip back to new york was such a reminder or just like a very confirming experience that i made the right decision to like surrender to this desire to want to leave even though i didn't really have necessarily a next step or like a definite plan and just feeling like so confident in that decision post making the decision and post making the move 
where I'm still in a place that I don't know exactly what is my next step yet but like a lot of good things have come in just from me making that like so many good things I could have never imagined would come in and I would have never found had I stayed in a place that I felt like it was time for me to go so I just felt like a lot of self-appreciation and like gratitude that I made that decision and that New York is a place I will love forever um but it just was time to go maybe I'll go back when I'm older and like buy a freaking bajillion dollar mansion because honestly I feel like that's probably the only way you could live comfortably there coming back we have the hurricane first hurricane ever very scared not sure what to expect you know it could be really bad so you just kind of have to prepare for how bad that it might be and just hope that that doesn't happen or worse um so that's just kind of what we did and it was scary it was like very nerve-wracking because like you know this thing is coming like it's an expected event yet its impact is unexpected um so once again like another perfect example of surrender when you know that like there's a decision that needs to be made or action that you need to take and just the process of like moving accordingly in your preparation for the best case scenario but knowing that you can handle the worst if it happens is so freeing that's really just how i feel about this era of my life in general right now and i hope that if you're watching this and you feel the same way that you find some type of like solidarity in this like unstructured era whether it be postgrad or like something else and that maybe you can find a little bit of peace in just surrendering to the moment and knowing that like maybe you're not necessarily at your final destination but you're here i saw this tiktok today and it was like you will get there but you're not there yet you're here and here is beautiful too and here is so beautiful here is so beautiful so i've just been really really working on my groundedness and letting be letting be letting be letting be i've been fighting against a lot of my urges to make a lot of hasty or like rash anxious researching or like decision making just to quell my little inner turmoil of like not knowing which is so stupid a lot of people who i mean does anybody really know let's be honest anybody anybody it is an act of strength to be untethered in society because we are so defined by our outside roles and responsibilities and i'm just like i feel on the outside of that right now but in the best way like i know that there will come a time that something comes and tethers me to it and i will be so happy to be tethered and i too will be like so defined by this one thing but the fact of the matter is i don't have that thing right now i just have me whatever worst case scenario could possibly happen i can handle it what a freeing realization and the best case scenario i'm ultimately prepared to receive because every day I do what I can. I'm grateful for what I have. I'm reflective upon what has happened to me. I'm insightful about my next steps. You know, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know how you're feeling if you're going through something similar and i will give you a hug through the screen promise okay love you